So, we have to go to the troll fair and locate the NPC, speak with them and then start the quest. So this will be a series that we will do as frequently as we can with one twist. This is the one thing I want to include. I want to read the lore, I want to read every dialogue and think about the possible repercussions on the troll fair area. This man is the most... Alright, good. So, we've said the first thing that I really liked and admired about this uh, guide is the slogan they've picked, which is the anniversary of the game is also that of all players. So everyone is welcome to celebrate. It's going to be a lengthy one, so from today until the 17th of September. That is a massive amount of time. So even if you scheduled a month or two of holidays, you will be back at some point and you'll be able to engage with the content and not miss out on the ornaments and all the beautiful new things. So, for those of you who have celebrated a previous anniversary, like the 15th and the 10th one, you have a vague or a rough idea about what it will look like. It's like a repeat of that, but with an update in. There's two new things, mainly, on top of the technical details, like the cosmetics and stuff like that. Two new big things that have changed. First one is the content has been expanded to include the new stuff that has been added in the game for the last five years. And the second thing, and most important one that I haven't seen mentioned a lot, which I have picked up from Translating the Lives, was that the way we engage with this event right here will largely dictate how the true fair will look like at the end. So the choices you make in the dialogue boxes, um, uh, I don't know exactly how it's going to be because I've not yet engaged with the event and I'm about to after I do this explainer, but they've said that largely our interactions will determine what the true fair will look like. So in a sense, we are writing the lore and the redesign of the new revamped area that is the true fair. So keep that in mind when reading dialogues and playing games and things like that. Mr. Ravao, welcome. Welcome to the chat. So 20 year anniversary it starts today and it continues until the 17th of September. Even if you booked mega holidays, you will have some time to engage with the content and get the beautiful cosmetics and especially the Haven bag and the ornaments, which are just marvelous and beautiful. Every time I saw the ornament, Nala sports it on all of her accounts and it just blew my mind. I wanted it and she told me, well, you can't have it. <laughs> you gotta wait years to have it. And the other day we were opening Kralov and Artagoon just went into a little box format and I was like, what the f what's happening? <laughs> and he explained that that was a, um, an emote that you gained by participating in one of the previous events, the likes of this one that we're seeing right now. Plus the Haven bag, which was the absolute coolest one I've ever seen. For those of you who don't know what it looks like, it looks like this. It's the actual locals, the office where the game is designed, where people work right now to bring us updates, new content, revamp classes and things like that. So this is what we stand to gain if we engage the content. So I think it's an easy yes for me at least. So after the event ends on the 17th of September, there will be an update. Figure, figure, figure. There will be a new version 273, but with a new true fair that we, as we said, will dictate what it will look like in the future. So to celebrate 20 years, uh, so the game is celebrating 20 years. A previous event called the 15th year, 15th year anniversary had happened from the 1st to the 29th of October. So it was only one month long. This time we've got treated properly. Wow. Wow, wow. Welcome. Hello. Hello, Shadow. So the event will be axed or will be built around one big quest, which is composed of multiple smaller quests. In these quests, we will have access to a unique Wow, a unique map called the Locals of Ankama, the actual offices. And we will get to meet the creators of the game, like Tot and Kama. That's where it comes from, Ankama. Anthony, the first uh, creator of the, the game is called Anthony Roux. And the other one is called, his surname is Kama. So he just merged An from Anthony and Kama from the surname of the other person. And this is how we have Ankama. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the rest is history. 
So we will meet these two creators and I think they've teased that we might even fight them for a possible reward towards the end. So, the 20 year anniversary will largely uh, bring back the event of 15 years with some modifications. The NPC that starts the quest is called Leon True at the Trill Fair. And now we know why. Instead of the old NPC who was at the Amakna Castle because the theme of it was, uh, I think it was Alistair's... A birthday so it happened in his castle so it made sense to have the start of the quest be there and the quests as well that we had to do back in the day also revolved around the theme of the birthday but now it's completely different one of the things that we will have to fight is Grodzilla and Grasmira why because the island is open and will end at the same time on the 17th of September there's four new quests on top of the old ones that we've had on the 15 years the quests of the 15 years that you've already done will be slightly modified some NPCs will not be at the same position and the enigma of the tiles I don't know what the this, what they mean here this will be different the event will last two months and as a result the difficulty of certain community steps will be uplifted will be higher okay I'm thinking tiles difficulty so you have to group a large number of people but we'll see how that goes so Dofus Polinub already has mapped it, but we're not going to engage with it like that. We are going to close this tab, go speak to the NPC, and then start the quest from there. Read the dialogues and engage with it properly.